Hello and welcome to an agronomy update by the Specialty Hybrids Greenlight team. The 2016 season so far has been all about where you are located and therefore how good field conditions have been. It's either been a very productive April where you've gotten the majority of your corn acres in the ground or a test of patience where the weather hasn't cooperated and we're still waiting to get that first major push in the ground. Towards the end of April and into the beginning part of May here, we've seen a drastic drop in our daily temperature ranges to go along with the multiple rain events. This has led to many questions regarding those unemerged seeds and how these conditions affect the germination and emergence process. First, we need to remember a few key facts regarding early season development for corn. Number one, a germinating corn seed needs adequate moisture and soil temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit for the seed to begin the germination process. Key fact number two, a corn seed will germinate after accumulating 65 to 80 GDUs and emerge after 100 to 120. Therefore, everything that was planted right at the tail end of April before these rain events began will have been subjected to a much slower GDU accumulation rate, meaning it's going to take longer for those seedlings to emerge. Anytime we get cool and wet conditions, it leads to concerns with emergence issues possibly due to something called chilling injury. Chilling injury can occur at different stages of germination and emergence. The first danger time for a planted seed is within that first 24 to 36 hours after being put in the ground when a seed is actively taking up water to start the process. Chilling injury at this stage can lead to that leafing out stage underground where plants will just unfurl before they poke through the soil surface, or we can just have arrested development where everything just kind of stops and our young seedling trying to emerge just sits in stasis. This is more of an issue when we have large swings in daily temperatures, or we have sustained exposure to soil temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But roughly everywhere across our footprint here in northeast Indiana and Michigan, we've been maintaining right at or above that 50 degree temperature line, meaning that our seeds, although they may be accumulating only single digits of GDUs a day, they shouldn't be getting hurt, hopefully, by these adverse conditions. <laughs> 